only wing that looks good on the Kia Stinger. Just look at that. Oh. Since we got the wing now, gotta get all that down force. The guts to be what you want to be. You need people like this. You need people like this so you can point your fucking fingers and say that's the bad guy. That's plan to do what you hate to do, but do it like you love. YouTube consistent uploads are finally back which you guys have been asking for we're gonna be installing the wing back as you saw by the title of the video my signature wing I read the comments and a lot of you guys said a wasp without its wings is just an ant and that is completely true the car looks so boring without a wing even with the spoiler, you're gonna look like pretty much every other Stinger out there. Everybody has either the duck bill or the wicker bill. Now, to stand out, the wing is finally back. The signature wing, the only wing that looks good on the Kia Stinger is finally back and better than ever. Just look at that. Oh man, I'm excited. So this is the box the wing comes in. I'm not gonna open this one because it is a customer's wing, but they are now available at kdmbuilt.company.site, available to the public instead of just doing a pre-order through Instagram. They're pretty much now the version two wing. This is the final wing. It's designed perfectly. The brackets are contoured exactly for the trunk of the Kia Stinger. It fits so flush. But many of you guys might question whether this wing is too heavy for the Kia Stinger trunk. Well, it's not. A lot of customers have the GT2 and all the GT2s come with an electric assist uh, trunk. Basically, let me show you guys. The trunk opens up, you know, automatically. You don't have to pick it up. And with the weight of the wing only being 10 pounds, this thing still functioned perfectly. It didn't have any problems at all. It runs exactly the way it should. It's not heavy. Honestly, most of the spoilers that you buy from eBay or Amazon or wherever you guys get it weigh about the same as much as this wing because of the materials that they use. Even when I first installed the wing, the tailgate never had any problems. So there goes your answer. Before I continue on with the video, I gotta let you guys know that if you purchase a hat, you get a free ski mask. So make sure you guys go cop yourself one at the website. Support your boy. Remember, Kitty and Mafia is back. So go get yours while they last. There's gonna be some steps that I might miss or not go over, but everything is shown in the instruction manual. When you purchase the wing, all the stuff you need are included. The only stuff that you'll need are these items here. But these are mostly all household items. The only thing I could imagine that you might have to go to the store for is some toothpaste because I know your breast tank. Me oh! personally. So the brackets do come with some rubberized gaskets. This helps prevent any water or outside elements from entering the trunk, giving it a perfect seal. The wing is already pre-drilled and pretty much almost assembled. You just got to... It's kind of like a puzzle basically. For example, what we're going to go over right now is installing the wing end plates and then we're gonna put the gooseneck on, so let's get to it. So first thing I like to do when installing the wing is getting the four screws that you need in order to attach the bracket. So it's gonna be these four wooden screws right there. So those are gonna attach these wing end plates onto the wing. The wings do have a groove that follow. If I were to put this on that side, it would not go because these are Specifically for each side is some 3m tape simply just remove the red liner it helps absorb the vibrations instead of it just being Completely stuck onto the wing line up the holes 
to each other. Remember, the wing is already pre-drilled. You don't have to drill anything other than the trunk. You just want hand tight. You don't want to tie it too much because then the thread would just go bad. So hand tight is good enough. Trust me, that 3M alone is strong enough, but I just like putting some screws just to make sure just like that it is attached now you could clip on the end plates simply just press it on to place and you'll hear it snap right on just make sure and that thing is not going anywhere one thing for sure is never take this through one of those car washes that have those propellers or touch car wash because this thing will come right off not the wing board but the wing end plates for sure uh, i've had a customer who went through one of those gooseneck brackets now these took a while to make and yes these are the version 2 nothing pretty much has changed the height has stayed the same i actually liked how high it was sitting i'm gonna put on the gooseneck brackets now before you get to doing that make sure you put some anises on the end of the bolts last thing you want is these to lock up all right now that there's a coat of anises at the tip of the bolts so with the provided four washers you're simply just gonna tie it. Remember, hand tight. Now that the wing is assembled, now it's just to drilling out some holes to the trunk of the Kia Stinger. All right, so get your painter's tape and start masking off the area in which you're gonna be drilling. Now, you need some colored painter tape that is light, like some blue, green, white, just not black. You need something that you'll be able to write on this is just a brief demonstration of how it's gonna work so once your wing is completely installed and all you have left is to mount it onto the trunk this is where the painters tape comes into play so on the instruction manual you're gonna have exactly the placement of where you're gonna be putting the wing so the measurements are there you just follow that instruction manual very easy straightforward but trace out the area in which you're gonna be putting those measurements so once you have your brackets traced out, this is where the toothpaste is gonna come into play. So what you're gonna do is pretty much dribble some toothpaste exactly where the holes go. There is some spots of toothpaste. It would be preferably white in my case since my painter's tape is blue, but it still works fine. So what you're gonna do next is line up the wing exactly where you traced out the brackets. And once you have it sitting perfectly, you just press down. Make sure you don't move side to side. Have it set on both ends. And then you lift straight up. And those are your indication marks of where you're going to drill the hole. Before you get to drilling, you would want to remove all of this. And I'm not going to do it in this video since I've already pre-drilled the holes. In the first video I ever made on the wing, I show how to remove this stuff. But it's pretty easy. The reason why you're gonna wanna remove all this, you don't really have to, but if you care, you're just gonna get a bunch of metal shavings on the inside part of here. And every time you open and close the trunk, you're gonna have a bunch of shavings just sitting all over here. And uh, yeah, you don't want that. So just remove all this, get a vacuum, and obviously make sure there's nothing here when you're drilling that way all that debris just sits on your trunk and then you could vacuum it right off so now get out your one fourth drill bit and get your drill gun and pretty much where you have your toothpaste you're going to mark with uh, a guiding point with some sharpie and just drill right through just imagine this was the first time i drilled bam now you have a perfect hole that goes all the way through make sure you go all the way through the trunk just like that obviously with the tape in the way and make sure you're holding the gun too you don't want to just jam it all the way through and then have a huge dent on your trunk all right here's where the orange thread locker comes into play you're gonna want to dabble some up on each bolt that way when your car's going 150 plus on the track, your wing doesn't fly off because you didn't put some thread locker. All bolts are lubed up. This is the only part where you're gonna need a second hand. I'm sure somebody could manage putting on the wing alone, but the reason is you just wanna make sure you have someone to help line up the holes, you know, hold the wing in place while you screw on the bolts. But I'm actually gonna try to attempt to see if I could do it on my own.
just like that, the wing is complete and hard mounted. Dude, look at that. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, I missed it. Dude, this thing looks so freaking sick. Look at that, guys. Like, this thing looks like this is how the Kia Stinger should have came, or at least the Scorpion edition, not the little ass wing it comes with. This is a true Scorpion style wing. Look at that, gooseneck, ready to sting somebody. <laughs> Take this bad boy out to the sun so I can show you guys the wing. Give you guys some cinematics in three, two. Bad boy's finally back on the car and I'm so excited to finally drive around with it because honestly the car didn't turn as many heads as before without the wing. The car looked like basically a Dodge Charger without a spoiler. <laughs> now with the wing we're gonna stand out from the crowd. Best part is whenever you look at the rear view mirror you can still see that wing is still there and hasn't flown off. Why? Because it's KDM built baby. But let me prove it to you guys in real time. The car's electric trunk still works without any problems. You see, I'm not lifting it with my hands. Obviously, the other trunks, you would have no issues, but this one, the electric trunk, still works the way it should, no problems. You could close the trunk as well, and it'll go down the same speed it went up. There you go. But like I said, guys, these trunk brackets are perfectly contoured for the Kia Stinger trunk. It won't bend or warp it. Literally fits perfectly as you see. The definition of the trunk is still the same. Doesn't have any issues. It's not bending it at all. I mean, dude, look at how good that looks. I got a question for you guys at home. Comment down below whether I should Plasti Dip those in matte black to match all the other matte black pieces I got on the car. Plasti Dip that or leave it gloss black. You guys comment down below. Get yourself your wing at KDM Built dot company dot site go purchase one i only have 10 units available for pre-order so go get yourself one before they sell out i can't promise you i will bring them back after i sell out honestly once i get rid of the stinger obviously i'm not going to be selling those wings no more so they might be limited so go get yourself one before they're gone so far i have four units already in pre-order i'm gonna go drop off this wing looks like he paid for air freight so that his package could get there faster and luckily this thing is a jet now pretty much with the wing so let's go drop off his order in a sport mode since we got the wing now, got to get all that downforce. With this wing, you also get another 20 horsepower. I'm just kidding, guys. We could put this thing into one of those air tunnels so we could see how much downforce this wing produces. Because honestly, I noticed some difference when I have the wing on and off. I don't feel the car slower, it's not that. You could feel the car just feel more planted at higher speeds. But yeah, there goes to show, there's no rattle. I've been driving already for like five minutes. No rattling, no issues. Wing is still back there and firm. It's not wiggling all over the place. That's what I love about this wing. Very lightweight, but the quality is so good that the wing board is stiff. It's not flexing and bouncing around like other wings I've seen. The USPS office closes at 5 and it's already 4.40. Look what you see over there. I wish gas prices weren't so high. I would be ripping this thing every day, dude. But man, this thing is a gas guzzler. Let's see what my current MPG is right now. 19, and that's pretty good. Before I used to care about MPG and all that, like when I barely got it, it would be sitting at like 14, 
13 lowest I've gotten into was like 11.5 mpg but that's like me always on sport mode ripping it you know paddle shifting just going crazy but now man I'm so conservative with my gas got to take this baby back to Mexico I'm trying to get some run-ins with people but honestly I don't see any modified cars at this point like I hardly ever see them. The only times I do is when I'm in somebody else's car and it's annoying because I'm like, damn dude, if only I had my stinger, I would have loved to run them. But it's just weird how the world works. The wing is looking so good. I'm so happy the wing is back, man. With after all those revisions and the few months that it's been gone, it looks so good, dude. I missed it. Time and effort has gone into these wings. I love them. It really stands out and it makes this car look like a true sport car the way it should have came from the factory. The package has been securely dropped off, but that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please go hit the like button. Also subscribe, you guys. Stay tuned for the next video. Little bangers from now on. I'm going to be doing consistent uploads, so I hope you guys do enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.